Welcome. This is the last and final video on a series of videos on the topic of concentration. As I said, as we, as you get more and more proficient with doing these type of problems, then maybe the next stage would be for me to teach you a little bit more advanced uh, alternate variations of this concentration. But actually, there is no um, alternate case for more fraction, which means it's very easy. Now, the way I've defined mole fraction is moles of component one, say you have 10 components, okay? And you calculated moles for each of those components. Add them all up, the total moles, total amount of moles for all components goes on the bottom in the denominator. Mole of each component goes on the top, and then you do not have to multiply by 100. If you do, then it becomes a percent problem. You just leave it as it is. All right, so I have a problem here. A solution is prepared by mixing 25 grams of water, okay, and 25 grams of ethanol. Determine the mole fraction of each substance. What it's asking is you're asked to determine the mole fraction of water and mole fraction of ethanol. That's what the question is asking. So what should we do? First, we have to calculate the moles of water and moles of ethanol. Then we can add them up for the denominator and then calculate separately for the water and the ethanol component. Okay, so what's the molar mass of water? Well, that's easy. It's 18 grams over one mole. Okay, ethanol is, if you do the math, it'll be two times 12 is 24, plus six is 30, plus 16 is 46 grams over one mole, right? Well, first you gotta convert the grams of water to moles of water, which is why I told you, you should know how to go from grams to moles. It's obviously through the molar mass. So it's 25 grams goes on the top, one goes on the bottom, the 18 gram goes on here, one mole goes on here, and that should give you 25 over 18 is one, roughly about 1.4 moles. This is for water. And you do the same for your ethanol. So that'll be uh, 25 grams, again same, over one. And ethanol's molar mass is 46, and one mole goes on the top. So 25 over 46 is roughly about 0.54 moles. Now this is moles of ethanol. Now what is the formula for mole fraction states? So to do the mole fraction of water, it's basically um, 1.4, that's the component, right? Mole of each component divided by the total mole so 1.4 plus 0.54, roughly about 1.94, right? That's it. You don't do multiply by 100 because we're not asking for percent. So 1.4 divided by 1.94, mole fraction is 0.72. This is for water. Let's do the same for our ethanol. Okay, that'll be 0.54, that's the mole of the ethanol component, divided by the total mole is 1.94 moles. So that'll be 0.54 divided by 1.94, roughly about 0.28. You gotta keep in mind when you add to, there's a proof is, if you wanna know your method is correct, if you, round, if you round it off in such a way, or if you just add them, you should get one. If you do, then you have done your math. Okay, this will add up to 1.00. That means I have done my math right, and that's my whole calculation is perfectly done. And that's all I have to say on the topic of more fraction. I'll see you with another topic. Stay tuned.